Huh? Oh, hi. So I'm looking at this insane wall of GNLs and CLF Research guitars. I try not to be nervous because uh, I'm starstruck because Tommy Chong is over there. It's kind of a who's who of, of, of Southern California culture in here right now. And Tommy's gonna do the factory tour. He's gonna take home a beautiful guitar so he can rock out. He's a really good guitar player. Some people don't know about that. He's a blues man. He's an Americana man. He's a music dude. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're just having fun. You know? And I'm kind of ogling these guitars. This one's got my, my, my attention today. Let's see what we got here. Classic single cut body, some pretty, pretty uh, neck wood thing going on here. Two humbuckers? One Duncans? What's the story with the pickups? There's a Duncan. This is like the uh, 59 TV4. Okay. It's coil split for both of them. Ah. Um, it looks fun. It's semi hollow, so it's chambered out, just no F hole. Uh -huh. It's just going to stay here. Yeah, there you know? is. It's just such a great example of the break. They come in, they open this door, and they start their day, right? Really? So here are the blanks. And here are the necks. Here is all the strings. Yeah, they're just freshly cut. This maple with this ebony. This is maple. Yeah, that's me. So, so these boards already have the truss rod inside them. These we call these blanks, neck blanks. Uh, we plan them so they're nice and uh, level, and then we route it out the channel for the truss rod. And then we put the truss rod inside to glue the top on. And then we're just letting it acclimate a little bit in here. So inside the wood shop, what we have is kind of a, a mix of old school wheel fender with a little bit of new school where, where I think it matters. So when Leo sold the company, the fender company, Leo sold it in 65, he continued to work for Fender as a consultant for five more years. That's uh, when he started CLF Research, Clarence Leo Fender Research. So we finally, while it's fun to watch, it's relatively unsafe. So we let go of the pin grouters and use two hot VF4 CNC machines to do the dirty work. After that, all the sculpting, all that detailed stuff, that's hand. And that's why we have this, what I call the Hall of Fame. This is what I want to be like a touchstone. This is the ideal.
difference in that. So we just put in the extra effort to get that shine. It works. It does. It's like you kind of don't know how to tap a lot. You don't know how to like re dumb it down. It's just more. It just gets better. Look at that, that's your type of guitar, the telly. Yeah, hey, you're making me want it. Uh, oh, I like that color. Here, look at that neck pocket. This is our Fullerton standard model we make here. This is severely underpriced. What are we doing? I know, that's what Yeah, so if these are still available, get one while you can. It's that, when we did the movie with Cheech, you know, Gibson says, take whatever you want. Cheech went down there. Took one of everything. <laughs> One of everything. The real pup and, daddy. and then, <laughs> and not me, I just took one. But then I went over to Cheech's and, and he's got, I mean, everything. But he's so greedy, he won't give up any. He had like 20 of them. Well, he's got him stuck, I guess. I mean, it doesn't have him, have, have him hung up. Right? That's so funny. And you know somebody gives him got their f yeah. busted. Yeah. You know? Well, let's invite Cheech and just give him one guitar and we'll give him 20. <laughs> and then we're just going to, you can have one. The Chinese I version. Can't, I can't do that. I, it's, it's, I can only, it's like adopting. I can only adopt everyone. Because you need to love it. It needs to be loved. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just put it because you have it. I'm like yeah. you, but I'm like a, a, a Ecuadorian dad that wants to have like 19 kids. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you know? he, he manages to love them all. I right. do, man. Yeah. I really do. I do. Because every, in my, at least to my ears, every single one of my bases sound different. I, I think that's the difference between you and me, is because you are a bass player. Me, I can play guitar. There's a difference. I'm not a guitar player, but I can play a guitar. I don't know what you think you are, but you actually are, you are an, an artist. artist. I was no. just sitting down there, I, I and met, what I was hearing, he is underselling himself. I a freaking know. Mile. I, I've met real guitar players when they finish with my guitar. They say, hey, can I try that for a minute? You get a blue, blue. Then when they give it back to me, that's when I say, I can play guitar, but I'm not a guitar. Yeah, but skill, you are playing skill doesn't and make art. And, you know? Skill doesn't make art. Art is art. What, what would Leo do? What Leo are you talking about? The Leo from I, the thought, I thought you're Leo. The Leo from the 70s show? Yeah. Oh, this is Leo from the 70s show. He found his place that he was going to bring his uh, uh, homeless camp. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you know the last episode of Leo? They, yeah. they found him homeless. Oh, really? Sleeping outside the road. <laughs> I think they meant Leo Fender. Okay, here, what would Leo Fender do? Leo Fender would be rolling over in his grave now and he saw Pancho trying to get all the free guitars. <laughs> That's Pancho. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> I mean, how can you not go to jail for this <laughs> You know? Can I pick out one now? Here. Let's see what they got for you. I mean, you get two. Okay. Did the tour, huh? Yeah. yeah. We're trying to figure out what would Leo do. <laughs> Great. Right. We're going in here? I think so. Oh, right? yeah. We have so many doors, they all look the same. Is that the studio? So, yeah. Every studio. day, this is what happens. Every day, we walk along this, I call well, it the ant trail. That and you walk in the wrong place and then you realize where the hell am I? Every day this happens, so it's not like it goes away, you get used to it. No, you walk in the wrong place every day. This was like the, the green one that you tried earlier, this ASAP special here, with Leo Fender's magnetic field design pickups and his saddle lock bridge. These are like his core improvements that he was, yeah. that he was making. And then here's another one, this one's kind of cool. I thought you might kind of dig how this one looked because it's a little more Got this subdued traditional vibe. It's a nitrocellulose lacquer thing. I like. I, I love this one. Actually. You did? Yeah, I do. 
Why don't you just take it home? Did you give it to me? What? You dig it, yeah. I don't have to steal it? No. That's why you me. <laughs> what the hell? Thank you, my friend. You know, it was fun coming I, I down and hanging out. I would give you a big kiss, but... No, 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 it'd be better off. We're, I think we're both the same on that. <laughs> but, you know, it was f totally cool having you come down and hang out. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thank Enjoy it in good health. This is amazing. Well, yeah, Kenny.